Hello everyone and welcome to the Mana Source's exclusive Ether Revolt preview card reveal. We have a doozy of a card in store for you thanks to Wizards of the Coast, so without further ado, let's bask in the glory of angels. Oh baby. Exquisite Archangel is 5 of anything and 2 white for a 5-5 five five mythic rare angel with flying. If you would lose the game, instead exile Exquisite Archangel and your life total becomes equal to your starting life total. Say hello to the newest giant angel in magic. At a whopping 7 mana for this 5-5 flyer, we're pretty securely in commander territory. However, that effect? That effect can do amazing things. Let me explain. The reason the Archangel is mythic and the reason it's a bomb card at all is because that ability straight up stops you from losing the game. If you're in a game of commander and you're about to die with this on the battlefield, not only do you avoid death, but you're back at 40 life, just like that. Now. For most players, the draw would end there. You're about to die via life loss and this saves you, but there is something even more awesome about this ability. It's a replacement effect. This means that if you're going to die, let's say, by being milled, this stops you from dying. Your opponent has you on zero cards at the beginning of your upkeep, you go to draw a card, you can't, you're supposed to lose the game. The Archangel's replacement effect activates, it stops you from losing the game, and you're alive again until the next time you need to draw a card. This saves you from milling. Replacement effects are just delicious. And for those wondering, yes, I've had this interaction confirmed by a level 2 judge, so we're all good. So what does this mean for the angel's playability? It means that Exquisite Archangel is a creature that gives you a second chance at winning the game, even if life total has nothing to do with you losing. Door to nothingness. Don't care. Phage the untouchable trigger. Get out of here. Frosca token trigger. Embarrassed beyond all reason. It's important to remember the ruling on replacement effects. The use of the word instead supersedes everything. If you would lose the game, instead exile the angel. That means that you losing the game in that moment never happened. It was wholly replaced by the angel exiling. Say hello to your guardian angel and commander. The last bit of rule shenanigans we have to go over is regarding your opponents winning the game. Now, the archangel stops you from losing, but it doesn't stop your opponents from winning. So if you're up against the broken commander card Felidar Sovereign, it triggers and your opponent wins the game. The game's over, they won. Once the game is over, there's no longer a game for you to lose and you lose. It's probably the best way I could explain that. We're looking at an identical ruling to that of Lich's Mirror, which the angel is clearly an apprentice to. Not such bad company to be in. And while you can't prevent your opponents from winning the game, if you can't lose, that isn't so bad now is it? So what do you think of Exquisite Archangel, a living invention born of a grand design? The card is elegant, beautiful, and comes with a downright powerful ability. If you have any ideas about where you'd put it, let's talk about it. Always love hearing your ideas. Also, huge thank you to Wizards of the Coast for once again including us in their preview season, and with such a magnificent card, huge props to them. And obviously, a big thanks to all of you for watching and supporting the channel. It means the world. As always, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.